Hey guys, Comic Boom here to review Catwoman number two. Joelle Jones continues to impress with fantastic art and the story continues to build. Guys, let's check this issue out. Man, guys, Joelle Jones just kicks issue two off right from where le last issue left off with Selena confronting all the copycat Catwomans in a, on top of a roof in kind of a warehouse type setting. Anyway, she, she proceeds to kick all their asses and man, is it, it's a, it's just, a, it's a great scene. It's a great comic book. Joelle Jones, the art is fantastic. I'll be showing images up as I do this. I, I normally don't always show images, but man, this comic book, Joelle Jones art is such a breath of fresh air. Her, her artistic style is, is, is bright and it's vibrant and it's, it's just beautiful. She draws the female form so beautifully, the way she can draw eyes, the way that she can draw e even subtle moments when there isn't action. It's, it's just, it's just, it's just a, a beautiful comic book to look at. The, the antagonist in this uh, opening uh, story arc by Joelle Jones is a woman by the name of Raina Creel. And she is the wife of Governor Creel of the state of California. And uh, she's very, well, she's obviously corrupt and she's got a, she's got a, uh, uh, she's got a mask on basically. She's got a lot of plastic surgery. She doesn't have plastic surgery. She's got just a lot of uh, uh, plastic, uh, fake, I don't know. Uh, she's got a fake nose, fake eyes. She's kind of like, uh, she's really ugly. And, but, and she, and I, the, most of the media doesn't know this. And um, obviously she's not just ugly on the inside being cruel and evil, but she's also uh, genuinely ugly as a person. And um, she's, uh, she's not very healthy and she has an agenda. We're not really sure what it is, but Selena discovers uh, by interrogating the copycat cat women that she beats up at the beginning, she discovers that uh, a lot of them, what they all have in common is that they're recruited uh, for the for Governor Creel's uh, political campaign to run for governor again. And and so that leads Selena ultimately by the end of the issue to sort of try to check out the campaign of Governor Creel and where she runs into one of the sons of uh, uh, Raina Creel, uh, who of course is that uh, ugly on the outside villain who we don't really know what her agenda is. It's not revealed, so there's still we still have to figure out exactly what her agenda is. Why is she recruiting all these cat women? Even the cat women, these copycat women themselves, don't even know why they're being used. They're, they almost consider it like cosplay, but you know it's it's easy money. So they, you know, they show up, they dress like a like a cat woman, and they commit these small crimes. We discovered something more about this Reina uh, Creel who is the wife of Governor Creel, she seems to have an agenda of her own that even the governor doesn't know about because what's very interesting in this issue is that Governor Creel, unbeknownst to uh, Raina Creel, he actually resigns because he resigns and gives up a governorship because he because he has prostate cancer. And what's surprising is that he never, he never bothered to tell his wife that before he resigned uh, or his two sons. So... I'm not, I'm a little bit clear there. Clearly there's some family dysfunction going on there. We're not, I think we're gonna probably be revealed in future issues what's going on between, what, what, what is the, exactly is the relationship between Governor Creel and his wife, Raina Creel. Raina Creel is the villain here in this piece. And she's one sick puppy. Uh, one of the cat women, of course, one of the copycat cat women who screwed up and, and, and the one who shot and killed two police officers, of which Selena got blamed for, uh, she wasn't supposed to kill those two officers. It ends up that the two officers that were killed were actually corrupt officers anyway. <laughs> that And Reyna uh, basically orders one of her uh, medical underlings to uh, take a hammer to the fingers of one of the copycat women. Quite cruel and uh, <laughs> she's, <laughs> she's not to be messed with, to, to, to put it lightly. Meanwhile, the... Uh, partner, uh, the former partner of one of the uh, corrupt officers that was killed is still looking for the for Catwoman, is still looking for Selena Kyle, convinced that Selena Kyle, uh, the Catwoman, is uh, responsible for the uh, death of his partner. And so he continues to look. And so we're, we're getting a lot here. We're getting a, Joel Jones does a really good job of sort of of, of pacing. I like the pacing of this issue, especially when I read the 
I've read it digitally from issue one to issue two again, and the pacing is really nice. I like the transition from issue, issue to issue, the transition from scene to scene, particularly the emotional feeling that, the emotions that Selena is going through in dealing with the, the loss of uh, Bruce Wayne, uh, their, their, their non-wedding that never took place. She's still hurting from that. There's a beautifully rendered scene where she's talking to her friend Carlos, who is buying some, who is showing her trying to sell her some gadgets for her role as a, <laughs> Catwoman and uh, you know he wants to he wants to get paid in the form of a diamond ring and she's got a number of diamonds of course because she's Catwoman and she's stolen all kinds of things but there's one particular diamond that Selena doesn't want to give him and of course that's the uh, diamond that's in the engagement ring the wedding ring that was bought to her by bought for her by Bruce Wayne Batman and so that's a very emotional uh, it was kind of a, a very beautifully drawn scene and it has really almost no words to it it just shows her looking at that diamond ring and snapping it shut at the end beautifully rendered scene it spoke volumes one thing that Joelle Jones does infinitely better than the way Tom King handled it over in Batman is that you really get a sense of the emotion that Selena's going through that it's really bothering her over in the pages of Batman Tom King is not doing a particularly good job showing that that you know Batman doesn't seem to be um, Batman is Bruce Wayne is uh, at a trial for Mr. Freeze he's a jury member and he's ripping urinals off bathroom walls and I guess, well I guess he's going through some angst too but you just don't really get a sense that uh, the way Tom King the way those that story is being rendered uh, does you don't really get a good handle on Batman I don't think not as well anyways as, as Joelle Jones conveys the emotion that Selena is feeling she does an amazing job and I don't know if it's because uh, maybe she's just a uh, maybe it's because she's a woman I don't know but she's man she knows how to tell a story better and pace it better I'll tell you that much I'm very impressed with uh, Joelle Jones storytelling abilities it uh, you know the uh, so reminiscent of Lady Killer she's done a really good job here guys all the way to the end of this from beginning to the end of issue two this is a this is just a it was a fun read uh, also there's there's a funny scene here where Carlos shows a Selena a rectal toolkit yeah you heard me right he tries to sell Selena a rectal toolkit now I thought this was a joke because my first thought when I read this I thought my god Joel Jones you naughty girl you you're, you're even incorporating that stuff into a comic book naughty 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 uh, but yeah it's a rectal toolkit I thought this was a joke now I actually had to google this but apparently a rectal toolkit is I mean I didn't I did not know this because apparently this was what's super spies in the 1960s for the CIA apparently would have like tool like blades and 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 little little spy gadgets inside or a little kit that they you guessed it <clears throat> hit it rectally in order to avoid be, you know in a search it would be hidden in any event um, very interesting I never occurred to me that's maybe Catwoman would be you know you know Batman has his utility belt that's where he keeps his stuff you know I, I, I never thought that you know Selena would entertain a rectal toolkit of course she doesn't she gives it back to him but the fact that it was even introduced into continuity now it's like really <laughs> I wonder if Midnighter has one of those <laughs> oh I know it's bad it's bad it's bad but yeah any anyways I <laughs> this scene is kind of funny but uh, uh, what well, it is that it is guys this is a this had this had uh, adventure, action, fun, uh, humor, emotion, sadness. Had, had a little bit of everything. Joel Jones did a really good job. Pick up Catwoman number two. <laughs> and until next time, guys. Comic boot out. <laughs>